Hello everybody and welcome back to Barker Plays Crusader Kings 2 right here on Be A Better Game Master. My name is Barker and as always, if you are looking for perfectly played Crusader Kings 2, you have come to the wrong place. Today we are going to be playing as Leon. Uh, we're going to be starting our uh, grand game in which we're going to be playing through all four Paradox titles. Uh, although I am going to be putting other uh, grand strategy Let's Plays on this channel uh, from here on out. Just because it's something I enjoy doing. Uh, basically we are going to be playing playing as King Alfonso VI of Leon, and we're going to be playing as each of his heirs. Now, uh, I know how to play this game quite a bit, but I don't want to really focus on the how to play aspects. I'd, I'd rather answer that question in the comments. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, you can post your comments below, and I'll get to each questions, and I'll get to the questions in future videos. You'll just have to stay tuned, because sometimes I film a lot of these videos uh, in one day. Uh, so, uh, either way, we're going to be concentrating on the story that we're going to be telling about King Alfonso VI of Leon and how we're going to be role-playing him. This person has an 11 diplomacy. Okay, That means he's a pretty good, he's above average, I would say, in terms of uh, kind of affairs of state, uh, talking to other leaders, things like that. Um, uh, diplomats, excuse me, uh, diplomacy is the key skill of our chancellor, who is very good at fabricating claims, uh, persuading, uh, uh, giving us reasons to go to war. Which is always, which is always fun. So I'm gonna go back to King Alfonso though. Uh, everything else is kind of under average. We have a uh, marshal, which is kind of militaristic stuff, military stuff. I have a seven. I have a five. Uh, my, uh, you'll see the second number here. That's higher. That's plus my counselors. That's me plus my counselors. I believe plus my wife as well will give me. Uh, it, this is like the total score of all of. Uh, the, Basically, my total score. But I'm looking at these right now because I want to see who I am. I have five stewardship. Uh, stewardship is uh, important for being able to hold lots of land. Uh, uh, that's, you know, you can, you're only one person. You can't control all of the territories yourself. You have to delegate. It's a feudal society. So, and then I have my learning. And I'm kind of dumb. I'm kind of dumb. I don't know what to say here. I'm kind of dumb. Uh, but I absolutely counterbalance my dumbness with my intrigue skill. Intrigue is excellent for assassinating people, do, uh, choosing plots such as killing, uh, rev <laughs> revoking counties, very, very interesting things, but uh, different plots that I could do. And, I, and that is going to be important for me. And let me explain to you why. So you see me right here, right? This is me. Uh, the king of Le uh, Leon, right? Leon is this name of this tiny county. That's my capital, but it's also the name of the country. So I'm the king of Leon. Um, and when I click on me, when I die, what happens? Because I'm not married. I don't have any kids, right? So when I die, what happens? Well, my heir is my brother, King Sancho II of Castile. Now, King Sancho II, that, this is Castile right here. Right? That's my brother. When I die, he gets my territory. And I actually, in, in an out-of-character way, I would play as King Sancho. And I would have all this land. So it's a very interesting game in which I might have just lost, arguably, because I died. But now I'm playing as his brother with more land. So it's very interesting. But what's also interesting about my brother here is what happens when he dies. I become... The, the the caretaker of his lands. I inherit his titles. Hey, <laughs> let's 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 think about that uh, a little bit further. Uh, we are killing our brother. I just want to throw that out there as as lightly as possible. We are killing our brother in this game. Uh, another thing is this is also our brother over here, King Garcia the Second of Galicia. Uh, his heir is my brother. So what we need to do is kill my brother in Castile, take his lands assassinate my and then assassinate my brother in Galicia as quickly as possible before he has a son because a son will pass on the family name that is our goal i i believe we can do this i'm not sure about this sometimes it's very difficult to assassinate so we might have some trouble uh, we're going to try to probably get a wife with a very solid spy master uh, or uh, intrigue score. But but uh, i digress the, one of the first things i do in this game is i go along the top of these tabs I see these little icons. They're, they're telling me what I need to do. I can create two titles. I can create the Duchy of Asturias. I'm going to click on Dejure Duchies. These little differently colored areas are the Dejure Duchies. Possible Duchies that you can name, right? The Duchy of Beja, right? This might not be an actual Duchy. Uh, it is. It turns out it is. But Asturias is not an actual Duchy, even though it can be. And I can create the title of it and then therefore give that to a Duke. Uh, it also increases my prestige, which is a very valuable number. Let me quick explain these. There's wealth prestige, and piety. 
Wealth is gold, buying stuff, military, things like that. Prestige is like re being remembered through the annals of history uh, in your greatness. That's uh, very important to have. And piety, that is religion. A very important factor in this game is the Pope. Okay, The Pope Alexander II. Huge factor is religion. This is Crusader Kings too. Like it says right there in the title. Anyway, I can create those titles, but I'm not going to do it because I don't have the money. I need 198 gold or ducats or wealth or whatever. I only have 90, so it's going to be a while. So I'm going to leave that here, but I am going to absolutely move on to the next thing. I am unmarried. I should get married. Yes, I should. I should absolutely arrange a marriage. I'm going to select a spouse. Let's look at intrigue score because I think this will help me. She is French. She is a courtier. I don't want a courtier. Ooh, princess. Let's see if there's a princess in a uh, local area. Sanchez, princess of Aragon. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Uraka. Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh. Yep. Looks like. Uh, okay, well, Sancha, Princess of Aragon, has uh, claims on Castilian throne. On the Castilian ca Castilian throne. I've never called it the Castilian throne. It's very Castilian is I don't know what I would want to say. Anyway, uh, um, but she's my cousin, and you know what? <laughs> uh, I am going to marry my cousin. So, uh, I've selected my cousin. I will gain fifty nine prestige from marrying into the house of a king, King Sancho of Aragon, who's my cousin. Uh, and so that's, uh, historically accurate friends. Okay. People did this in history. This is just the way of things, but I'm going to try to marry, uh, my cousin and, uh, pick an ambition. The first thing I want to do is get married. I'm going to kind of cheat here and choose this as my ambition. See, I can do multiple things here. I can become a paragon of virtue. I can gain a lot of piety. I can become exalted among men, uh, as a goal. That might be my goal. I, that's gaining prestige up here of at least 1000. I can get married. Uh, or I and, and that would give me a plus 10 piety. And I can also see the realm prosper, uh, five years at peace. And if I do that, I gain uh, one stewardship. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose get married because I just, that's going to happen very quickly. And so I want to immediately get that piety boost. Pick a character focus. I want to focus on intrigue. I want to do that because I really want to kill my brother. Uh, I, I feel like that will be a great way to start our storyline. This person, uh, King Alfonso VI of Leon, uh, his goal is to murder his brothers to take over their land uh, because he's weak. You know, he's he's weaker than they are, but he's he's strong in the mind and in his cunning. Okay, uh, special title actions possible. Uh, I can set Salamanca as my crown focus. Basically, that means that this region of Salamanca will be uh, a little more prosperous than the others. So it's just a game feature. It's a very complex game, so I'm going to try not to explain everything except for in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll answer some questions or do some Q&As periodically. But either way, uh, I just enjoy uh, playing it. So I'm not going to... I can grant minor titles, but I don't really want to yet, I don't think. I'm going to take a look at my vassals. These are... See, the, I run this... Uh, piece of land of Leon, this county. Uh, I have Salamanca under my name. So these two, right? I only have two. Well, it says three, actually. So I, it, it does this, and I'm not sure why. Maybe someone will have to teach me in the comments. It looks like I only have two, but it says I have three up here. This is my domain size. This is as many as uh, basically uh, regions as I can own under me directly, right? Uh, if I go over, I need to give them to vassals. So these vassals, because again, historical, uh, these are all my vassals, and I need to look and make sure that they are uh, in a positive opinion of me. And they are. Now, it looks to me like the reason it's at three is because I have three of these areas, I think. Oops, I made a mistake. Uh, the, if you look at a county, there are these holdings. I think I have three of those. I think that's what's happening. But either way, uh, that, that looks like all that's being done. Now I'm going to go through these tabs. See, the, I'm going to leave these open because uh, I still want to remind myself of them. Uh, but I'm going to go to my council and I'm going to look here at my chancellor. Uh, I don't want to fabricate claims against anybody. I don't, I don't need a reason to go to war with anybody here, right? Um, but I, I feel like I do want to improve my diplomatic relations. And I want to do that with Navarra. Right there, boom. And the reason I want to do that currently is because when I take over Castile, I don't want to have any issues with Navarra. And I don't, I'm not even sure I will have any issues, but that is something I want to make sure. I want to make sure we're cool, bro. 
All right, Marshal Bishop Gonzalo of Valencia de Campos uh, is he is my kind of military advisor. Only an eleven. Is that really the best I have? It looks like it is. Okay, uh, bummer. Uh, I'm gonna have this person train troops. Hopefully, we'll get a better marshal sometime. My steward uh, is very good actually, uh, fifteen, which is good because I'm lacking. Uh, Alvar Sal Salvadores uh, is going to research economy tech. Uh, we're going to do it here in Salamanca because this is our crown focus. Maybe that'll give us a boost. It might not, though. Uh, our spy master is going to build a spy network in Castile, where my brother is, because that will help us assassinate him. Where you build the spy network will make it better for your uh, uh, plotting. Oh, man, we have a really terrible spy master, though. How awful. Maybe my wife will be better. I don't know. Jeez, that's terrible. We might, not, uh, we might not be able to do it. We might not be able to do it. So we might stay as a small country. But that's fine because a lot of this game, once I press the unpause button, a lot of this game is going to be fast forwarding through events. A lot of this game is kind of role play and just fun and reading some things. And so you're going to see me kind of looking at things and not really speaking sometimes. I'm sorry ahead of time for that. Uh, this is just, I, I don't want to edit these videos. Uh, I just want to play the game. So... Uh, I hope that you can find some enjoyment out of it. But let's get to choosing our plot. Let's try it, all right? Our target is going to be uh, King Sancho II of Castile. I'm going to right-click, plot to kill. Boom, do it. We have to do it. Um, I The plot power is 66.1. I really wish we had a better spy master. It would be awesome. But uh, we're just going to have to hope for the best. Oop, I accidentally hit on pause. I didn't mean to. Um, so we have done, you know, we don't need anything military-wise, uh, technology-wise. We don't have anything any uh, anything to invest. We'll be able to give things to invest later. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, centralization uh, to give me a higher domain size and vassal limit. Uh, I'm going to change my laws to low centralization. And then my next law I'm going to change, which I can't yet, is I'm going to change... Uh, feudal taxation to small. I really don't want to run out of money. Uh, money is important, especially when you're a small country and you're always going to be at war. Um, factions, there are none yet. Religion, we are Catholic. Uh, the Pope doesn't really like me because I'm cynical about religion. Maybe I should roleplay that person, someone who's cynical. No, you know what? I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because, look at this, it's going to be hard enough to play this small country as it is, right? We have basically Islam is moving this way, like so it's going to be hard enough. I don't want the entire Catholic population to be against me too. Like I, I want to get through the game. I definitely want to try. So uh, either way, um, I feel like that's it. I feel like I'm about to press the unpause button. Oops. Um, oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons in the world. Okay. I am. Okay. A little bit of frame late, frame late, frame rate issues. My frame rate is frame late. Okay. Everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. We're playing as King Alfonso the sixth of Leon. Uh, in the first, in the second episode, I'm going to hit unpause and we are going to, uh, hopefully get married, have a child and, uh, and work towards something great. This episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter than future episodes, maybe. But, uh, for now I look forward to seeing you the next time, uh, as we play, uh, as King Alfonso the sixth of Leon.